Hi, this is Scott Beck with Guitar and Bass Builder in Wimberley, Texas. Mostly known for birdsong guitars, but also for the modern day SD curlies and uh, other things, including Dakila guitars. Dakila is a little side project that I have going on. It's been forming for the past several years. Been working on designs, been trying certain things out, getting other things together with it. Uh, and it's finally congealed into what I really have a, a vision of it being, which is sort of a Art Deco meets Texas Workshop uh, electric jazz guitars. I consider them electric jazz guitars. They make great blues guitars or rhythm guitars. The only thing they won't give you is a really bright bridge position tone because they don't have a bridge pickup. It's a simple yet elegant solid body that... Um, that really uh, reflects what I listen, what I look for in a jazz guitar tone. I love jazz arch tops, okay. I love their tone, but this is not that. It's a little something different. Um, I like listening to Lenny Bro, and uh, oh, another guy, another hero of mine, Ed Bickert. If you've never heard of Ed Bickert, you need to go find the Ed Bickert Trio album or anything Ed Bickert did with Paul Desmond. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. Great. Great player. He did jazz on a telly, which is not that unusual these days, and anybody who plays jazz on a telly probably knows who Ed Bickert is. Great dude. But anyway, uh, people from Lenny Bro, um, Kevin Eubanks, there are a clique of um, jazz guitar players who like solid bodies, and um, I loved the idea of a solid body geared specifically towards that that would also be good at other things. So. What we have here is a Dakila Supreme of solid figured Hawaiian koa and a mahogany neck. And, um, well, let's take it down and give it a spin, shall we? The object with it is to get a nice, clean, woody sound. I don't want to hear the pickup, I want to hear the structure. I want to where the pickup is placed, what it's sensing of the strings. These are all things that um, the wood thing does influence the tone, not directly. The pickup has no idea what it's put in, but but the uh, the way the wood vibrates affects how the strings vibrate, and that's what the pickup picks up. So. So I want to hear the wooden structure in the instrument. I want the pickup to be out of the way. Um, but I do like a nice, rich, full sound with nice clarity up top.
realize this is like driving a Bentley down a dirt road, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. There's the Dakila. Quickly, some of the features on it. Um, I like the Art Deco thing, so it gets nice uh, Grover Imperial tuners. The jazz guitar tuner is very nice with uh, Art Deco stair step buttons. Get some brass on it. Um, lots of wood. Uh, an Art Deco bird motif under the bridge on some of them. Uh, brass, new old stock, 70s, American made bridge. Um, the interior is all done up nice. It's all star grounded, fully copper shielded. Gets a, gets a nice new old stock capacitor on the tone control that's just musical all the way through the, through the travel of it. And, um, you know, it's just something that's done up, made kind of the way I want to make it and the way I would want to see it done up. To that extent, it is a luthier's choice build. In other words, I build these and uh, make them available uh, based on the art artistic inspiration that hits me in the moment and the woods I have and what I think would be really cool to do next. So if you're interested in them, please go to Daquila Guitars. That's Daquila with a Q, rhymes with tequila. Um, DaquilaGuitars.com or give me a buzz anytime, 512-395-5126. Uh, thanks a bunch and have a musical day.